after 25 years, maybe 30. This is going way, way back. 90, It's at least 25 years old. At least. Anyway, after 25 years, <coughs> dog slobber has caused the bottom to rust out. So we're going to repair that. Let me show you how we're going to do that. First, we're going to hose it off. Now we measure the width. Width of this thing is 11 and 7 eighths inch thick. And the depth here is 7 eighths of an inch. This is also seven eighths of an inch. So we know that based on this at one inch, this is also one inch. We need to take off just a very small fraction of this 11 and um, seven eighths. We're going to back it in to eleven and five eighths, which will give me my width for the metal that I need here. The next section that I need I need to start somewhere and I'm going to start an inch or two above this. So this distance right here is four and three quarters. This is four and this is three and three eighths. So we'll add these numbers together and then we'll measure out our metal We'll use a brake to bend this and then we'll repair it. Eleven inches. I might be able to use that. Let's we'll see if we can. What we have to do is repair this piece right here where the food's falling out. We know that this is three and three eighths. This is four and an eighth. So that's seven inches, 12 inches this way. I've got a piece of metal that will fit across this and that will save me from having to cut a big square out of a bit of stock, seeing how materials are getting very difficult to come by. So I'm gonna go cut that piece and then I'll use a break to fold that to fit those complex shapes and then we'll put it in. We will staple it with rivets. We'll rivet it into place. We'll bend this with a break and then we'll rivet the metal in there and then this will be ready to go back into service. I've cut my metal that's going to be going inside here. I've got a hole right there. I'm not worried about that. But as you can see, it's plenty wide to cover this damaged area right here. 
So the next thing to do will be, again, to verify my measurements here, here, and coming up, and then take this over to the brake. I'm going to straighten, straighten this little bend in it out, and then we will be bending this, we'll be sliding it in, and we will drill our holes and brad it in with pop rivets. All right, we got our lines and our measurements on here. Slap this little jewel on here. This is the front. This is where the dog feeder door opens. This is the back. So we're ready to put it on the brake. The way this brake works, you put your stock on here and then you use this to bend it. Now the really high dollar ones will actually have an adjustable plate here. You slide your stuff up on here. However, this is not one of the high dollar ones. So it comes with this handy dandy little bar that you then put down on this crack right here. And you take your vise and you tighten it down to hold it. quite a ways to go. There we go. Almost got it all tied down. There we go. Now we just bend up. got to do is I got to go square this piece off which is not a big deal be taking just a fraction of an inch off it off take that off then we'll come back and we'll do the next piece. I've got the piece now bent to fit. We know this is the front. I just fitted it a moment ago inside the dog feeder. It works good. The next step will go in and I'll be using C-clamps to clamp this down so I can drill holes and put the pop rivets in here. Then on the bottom, I haven't decided if I'm going to put pop rivets there or not, but I will be putting pop rivets to the back. In order to do that, I'm going to have to wedge some wood in between the piece that's coming down to direct the food to the back and this to push it out and hold it for the drill. And once I do that, then I'll be able to put some pop rivets in here and then the uh, dog feeder will be back in service. Like I said, I've had this... I actually, um, 
I went back through my records. I can tell you positively, for a fact, I bought this dog feeder about 1990 or, ni no. yeah, 1990 or 1991. And it just finally wore out a short time ago. So I've had it for a long time. That's um, a lot of years of service. Once I get this back in, it will work. And right now I have a bunch of dogs and when these dogs are gone, I'm out of the dog business. Uh, these dogs right now are pretty much everything I can handle. It's because they're puppies, but they're 125 pound puppies. So with that said, we'll move on to the next step. All right, now let's put that thing in. First thing we do is we verify that this is to the front. So it's gonna go in like so. It will turn and then fall down into the bottom of it. All right, next thing to do will be to pull this in like so. We'll put our C-clamps on it, and this one is not going to work. It's not deep enough. Let's see if this one will work. Let's see if we're still on camera. I'll move it back just an inch. This one will work. So let's make sure we're not on a hole. is too long on the bar. Got to go see what else I got that I can use. We go to plan B. Plan B is to put a big chunk of wood inside here. Bring this little jewel up to where it needs to be, which is right there. And now, Pop this baby back. We put another big block of wood right here. What this is going to allow me to do is to tighten across that big open expanse in there. just like that. Now, we, we turn it like this. We can drill our holes right in here. We can drill our holes right in here. We can even put some holes right down here and pop rivet it in. We can also slide this down just a hair and pop rivet a few in here. The pop rivets, just so you're aware of it, the pop rivets have to go from the inside to the out because otherwise they'd be sticking up and they would tear up the dog's tongue when he's in there getting the food. So let's go get the drill. Let's drill our holes and move to the next step.
this bright area right here is where I've patched the hole. These bright spots that you see right here are the pop rivets, and I've put them in from different sides. My pop rivet gun needs to be taken apart and cleaned. It's got some dirt in it, so it's not functioning quite right. I've got a hole down here that I've got to put a pop rivet in, but it's getting too dark to work, as you can easily tell. Tomorrow, I'll put some blocks in here, and I'll push this down. I will put probably six pop rivets across this, and then I'll work on the back side of it. And once I have that done, then it'll be time to call it quits. Dysfunctional vet out.